Expedite, the pre-workout is designed to really help you get through those moments where you feel a little fatigued. Sometimes your body does get a little tired, you know, it gets a little sore. But this kind of stuff picks you right back up. Mikey's fighting uh, Jesse uh, this Saturday. Um, in camp with Mikey, what do you guys see now that he has a second camp at 147? Look, Mikey, Mikey, uh, <clears throat> Mikey trained hard. You know, he had great sparring when we we used uh, uh, for the first four weeks of sparring. We used some some heavy heavy kids, you know, 160 and 154 pounders that were doing a really good job, but they were heavy. That's why we, you know, because Jesse Vargas. You know, was already fighting at 154, so so we need to get adjusted to, to somebody heavy in front of us. You know, fight night, Jesse's gonna be a lot heavier than us, so so we had to adjust to that. Then the last two weeks, then I brought in uh, lighter guys. You know, Lindolfo Delgado, who's uh, who's lighter and faster. Josito Lopez, who who is is uh, is also lighter and has experience and and fought. Jesse Vargas before, so Jose Lopez was very, uh, you know, really good help. And Mikey went through those can through those six weeks of sparring, you know, very good, very very smart. I think I think uh, he's in great shape. Uh, uh, we're gonna go out and, and perform and do do our job. You know, we know Jesse's also very dangerous. He's a warrior. His only two losses are to to Hall of Famers, you know, Manny Pacquiao and Timothy Bradley. And uh, the Timothy Bradley fight. It's, it's also questionable because, you know, when he heard him and, and the ref stepped in, I think I think uh, it wasn't Jesse's fault the ref made a mistake. It wasn't Jesse's fault. That should have been ruled a, uh, a, a stoppage, you know, for, for Jesse. He did hurt Timothy Bradley. And Timothy Bradley, you know, is, 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 is a Hall of Famer. So those are his only two losses by decision. I think he's going to be tough. It's not going to be easy for Mikey, but uh, Mikey's, in re Mike, Mikey's in really good shape and uh, and ready to, to go out and perform, you know. How has he looked better since the other camp at 147? Well, look, uh, like Mikey said, you know, first fight at, at, one, at 147 uh, with Errol Spence, you know, I think he, you know, for being the first time, he he, he worked out enough to, to, to get the muscle and everything, but it was, it, was, it was the first time, so he didn't feel as fast or, or his reflexes, his speed wasn't as, as, as good. Now he's, you know, it's, a, it's been a year since, so he's more adjusted to that weight now. You know, even though we planned on, on doing it at 140, but, uh, you know, the fighters that we looked at weren't available for this date, and Jesse Vargas was, so that's why we chose to fight Jesse Vargas. But, uh, but, uh, but you know, I think, I think now, you know, with all this time he had since, since Errol Spence fight, I think he adjusts, he adjusts to the weight now. I think, you know, he looked really good in sparring and, and did a great job. So, you know, we, we hope, you know, all that shows this Saturday night. What's the most like challenging thing you feel about Jesse or like the most dangerous thing he brings to the fight? Look, he's, he's got experience. He's fought great fights out there. He's, he's not like he's coming to a stadium where, where, he's, uh, where he's never been to, you know, he's been there against a Timothy Bradley. <clears throat> Uh, a, uh, a Manny Pacquiao, which is you know huge. When you fight Manny Pacquiao, you're always gonna have a, a huge crowd, and uh, so he's already used to that. He he's uh, he's uh, he's he's won titles where where you know when he came to 147, I, I think they, they thought he was gonna be able to pull it off, and he goes and 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 knocks beats his opponent up, and I think he knocked him out to become champion. So he's already done all that. So. There's, you know, there's nothing that's going to surprise him. You know, he's already, he's already been there. He's going to be confident knowing that he's fighting against a smaller guy. So, you know, it's going to be dangerous. It's not, it's not going to be easy for, for neither of them. You know, where we expect a real tough fight. You know, he's, Jesse has a great heart. You know, he's a great person. But when, it, when the bell rings, he has heart, you know, and he'll fight. He'll fight till the end. I think Jesse's pretty fast, too. He's fast, too. He's got speed, you know. So it's, uh, you know, he's got the, the, the height and, 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 and reach. So it'll be... It'll be it'll be challenging. What do you think ultimately makes the difference in the fight, in your opinion? Look, I, I don't know. I think uh, look, we Mikey has tremendous power. You know, even though at 147, we we think and you know, it's, you know, my dad feels that it's gonna be harder to to hurt uh, to hurt uh, fighters at 147. And even though Jesse doesn't have too many knockouts, but he is the bigger man, so he will be strong. 
uh, and 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 Mikey could you know might feel his punch. I don't know, but I think I think I think Mikey's power could 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 uh, could do make a difference. You know, with breaking him down little by little, round by round, maybe frustrate him. I don't know. You know, Mikey has great jab and uh, and uh, and and uh, good body shots too. So so we we think lit, round by round we could break him down and uh, uh, eventually. You know, maybe even stop them or, or or win by a clear decision. I think this fight's going to be like a very tactical one, like one where both the guys are going to be like really, really patient to see, like you know what what they show in there. I, I agree with you, but I but I also think that uh, you know Mikey Mikey trained uh, the way we we trained. I think Mikey's gonna maybe maybe be the first one to take the chances, even though Jesse Jesse has heart. You know, they're both gonna be uh, the first couple of rounds, but I think eventually Mikey's the one that's gonna. The ones that's gonna probably you know push for, push for the fight and, and to make it a little bit more more into a a uh, inside fight. Does he want to be aggressive to make up I for the are. last fight? I think we're gonna be aggressive. I think that's what we're gonna yeah. do. We train to do that, and uh, and uh, you know Mikey wants to bring it bring it to Jesse, and uh, hopefully the the fans enjoy a, a good night of boxing. For the future. Do you want to see your brother stay at 147, or, or do you feel he's better at 140? I, th I think 140 would be best, and I think he knows that too. But right now, uh, after this fight, we'll see. You know, there's been talk about Pacquiao and all that. So if it's Pacquiao, then it has to be at 147, because I think it's. I, th I think that's not a. Uh, that's not too bad because Pacquiao. You know, even though Pacquiao's been out at 147 for many, many years. Uh, he was, he's still so maybe even small, maybe shorter than Mikey. Uh, so it's more of a close, close, close match. Like they're similar in size. Similar in size. Yeah. If not, then I think 140 is probably the best uh, for Mikey. Plus, there's, there's there's big fights at 142. You know that I'm at 40 where where uh, where Mikey could uh, could perform and have big fights too. He mentioned in an interview with us that uh, he likes the Josh Taylor fight, but Ramirez is being set up to fight Josh yes. Taylor. So, uh, Look, I don't now that now that now that Josh Taylor ended, you know, signed with uh, with with top rank, you know, then that's what we're looking for. I, I don't want to. I don't. I also don't want uh, don't want Mikey. I don't want Mikey to say, oh, I want to take uh, take that fight away from from Ramirez. You know, now that Ramirez is with top rank, it's obviously we're gonna. We you know Ramirez wants that fight, and 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 that's the fight that I that I want for Ramirez too. I don't want Mikey to say, you know, you know. Uh, steal that from from Ramirez because it's not going to happen anyways because Ramirez, uh, uh, Taylor already signed with top rank so that's more likely the fight that's going to happen so Ramirez is, is going that direction Mike you know the Mike there's 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 fights you know like reaches progress uh he's fighting hookers so the winner could fight Mike you know there's there's uh, there's options plus there's gonna there's a lot of uh 135s that could go to 140 pretty soon and those would be huge fights too for Mike in the future you know two three years from now I think I think there could be huge fights with with all those 135 pounders that eventually might end up at 140. Ch by chance, is there any way he could still make 135 with a strict diet? Uh, like like Mikey says, you know, he'd have to fight at 140 first, and then from 140 make the decision. I think he could. I really think so, but not now. I think he needs to fight at 140, and then from there decide if we, we could go to 135, which I think he could. Perfect, perfect. Robert, good chat with you. Thank all you, right, man. Well, thank you.